for us. They're chilling up pretty high, so this could be a really good chance for somebody tonight to not have to stress it anymore. And we are getting into the Lucina Ditto here. As we've got CZ and Wolfric, perhaps better known at, as the Fusion Classic. We, we haven't seen these two play in a minute, but I, we used to see them all the dang time going back and forth with all variety of sorties. And we're doing it in the Ditto. The Ditto, but right now just a, a battle for positioning, a battle for that ledge, and then landing there to find. Find it, Wolf is gonna keep the pressure on here at lead, but not able to keep it going, and the coast to coast is gonna result in Steezy taking the first song. Beautiful job by him to go ahead, snuff that out, and now Wolfric trying to find something here to get it going, but not quite. Love the back air out of shield there to push Steezy out, but Steezy firing right back, securing some stage control. And uh, man, these two are just keeping nice, even pace here. Yeah, and even though he made it back to stage there, Wolfric actually. Finding that tech into the slide off kind of did him in a little bit. It, it gave, gave Steezy the extra frame to find that or, or the frame event to find that corner trap. And even though Wolfric cleans it up, he's still taking an extra 20 or so percent he didn't otherwise need to. Ooh. And now the tech on platform again, like right? gonna give Steezy that chance to lock in, in the extra damage, find the advantage state, and again, Wolfric finds the reversal, but it's just not able to maintain it. Now Put in a little bit of pressure. I love these down tilts to go ahead and try to get the shield poke or at least catch him dashing in a little too aggressive. And, and uh, the Wolfric, not quite going to be able to make it back. Yeah, man, the unfortunate SD, the ND. Wolfric has got to clean those up if he wants to f potentially f win this game or, f or have the potential for a game three in this set, depending on how it goes. Because right now it's just the CZ. It's Steezy show. And early on, on it was worth it. It's pressure that really opened up the game. But then he just got reversal. He wasn't able to maintain it. And Steezy just kind of taken that one to the bank so far as Wolfric tries to hold on. And now, trying to lock Steezy down in the corner. But man, an aggressive shield break. Not quite able to do much, but buying a little bit of extra time for Steezy as now Wolfric. Went deep out there, unable to find it, but it doesn't matter as long as you maintain that stage control. I like I like the dancing blades, I like the resets, looking for the tech chase, but not able to find it. Steezy looking to close this one out right here. You can see it with these crouch line sets and the narrow one F smash, but dropping the confirm and gonna give Wolfric one more chance, but the early Dolphin Slash not gonna snap to ledge, and you cannot miss those if you want to hold on to your last stop, my friend. Easy, doing a great job to just shut her out all of Wolfric's opportunities. Felt really good inside of that corner game for Wolfric during some of those moments. Just was unable to find the stock and sometimes you feel good getting a lot of damage but it doesn't matter if your opponent is just going to be able to seal it out before you can. So heading into this game too, hoping that Wolfric can start finding some kills a little bit earlier than before and maybe we could see a complete change in this game number two. Uh, and we've, done, we've seen it before, right? Where Wolfric just doesn't have a great game one and just explodes onto into game number two. But so far, CZ trying to keep him locked down here. Er, with an early juggle, Wolfric is finally able to find a solid advantage state here at ledge, but not able to keep it going. The parry gonna find a reversal. And so far, this has been a full on scandal. These two are not willing to reset, they just keep going at it. They, they want to get this and get this done. Fast, very aggressive play right here from the two of them. We see Wolfric coming through, trying to get some down airs and everything, but Steezy getting the first little bit of advantage with that F tilt. Now, might be able to find a kill in this corner, oh, and ooh! Oh no. The shield break into yeah, right, a kill. My friend, right when things started to look up for Wolfric, right? I, he just had to go that way. I, the delay on the dancing break, they're gonna play its way through the counter and the F smash to find it, find its mark. Man looking like Krieg from your state there for a second. Cause even though it's Lucina, that thing killed like I had a tipper for a second there. Yes, ma'am. But now Wolfric 
you might get a stock here, but you gotta get some extra credit flowing as Feezy doing a really good job of keeping this pressure. That is one thing I like about this matchup is typically percent leads don't matter as much as expected because you have a lot of characters that will blow up the other, but Lucina doesn't have a strong combo game. It is more about those edge guards and raw and neutral, and that's kind of what we're seeing from Steezy. Gets it started with a nice clean nooch, and then is able to lock down Wolfric either off stage or in the corner long enough to get the kills. It's, it's, in this case, the positioning character here in Ultimate, right? She's got the movement speed, the frame data, or the sword, or the low traction to have good, decent Eve lands and sling in shots. This character really has it all if you just want to out-position your opponent and find, uh, find the right hits and keep it going. So far, it's just been Steezy finding those hits and going Woo! all the way off the edge guard, find a way back to stage as well, pushing that to the limits with that double jump back here, but beautiful, beautiful c confirmed from him. Steezy went out deep for it, and that is why he's feeling good in this set. Bro is willing to do whatever it takes to get the win. Now stalling just a little bit to get through. And oh, the read. All right, Wolfric, I see you. Wolfric just back through him off stage and stood there menacingly in for a good 10 seconds. Just daring Steezy to pick an option. Sold at him seven ways a Sunday and locked it down. If there's ever a way to shift the tone, moving into your potential last winner side stock, that would be it. But now with the time ticking down with the percents climbing in. Can he close it out here at ledge? That's the question that we need answered and Wolfric doing a little bit of a good job here with some of these up tilts, but Steezy has just been positioning beautifully as they keep finding F till up air. All sorts of slice and dice options to reset the advantage and keep Wolfric out, but Wolfric finally finding a way through. And he was able to capitalize off that clank and just keep the aggression going. Steezy with a rare attempt to back off and reset over the course of this set. But it's going to give Wolfric that one more chance. However, he gets hit in disadvantage. And now Steezy with an opportunity to close it. If he can just find this juggle, but just going to miss space it. it the back air is just a get off me tool, but does reversal this at ledge. Wolfric not able to clean it up either. And this is going to be a ping pong to ledge, my friend, until this game's over. Yep. Good forward there to get off of ledge. Now, just holding on to that chill, but dropping it right at the worst time. Steezy got him at ledge, and we've seen so many stocks drop here, but Wolfric, good patience to get on through. That is the one thing that has been showing really beautifully from both these players is some really good patience in the corner, but it did not matter in the end. Steezy got the grab, the up throw. He's got to be able to finish it out. He is going on to round two after a clean 2-0.